Some people in the tourism industry are monitoring what's being said on social media about the city's removal of the Liberty Place monument. Sabrina Wilson continues our team coverage of today's removal live from the site of one monument still standing in Mid-City. Hey, Kim. Some people in the French Quarter definitely weighed in on the issue. Meanwhile, the Tourism Marketing Corporation says it's paying really close attention to social media. As New Orleans makes national headlines for removing a segregation era monument, tourists from all over walk the French Quarter. Some had strong opinions on whether the city should remove such monument. Personally, I think it makes me feel a little bit better, like you don't want to honor something that's a sort of a negative part of history and give everyone a chance to move forward. I don't think that should be done at all. They're trying to do that a lot of places with a lot of things like that. It's part of history that should not be removed. I think it's a good idea to, to take that away and not promote or glorify something that was a poor, you know, a poor part of the past. So yeah, I think it's a good thing. Ron Hardesty is from Kentucky, and though he doesn't like that the city has begun removing statues like the Liberty Place Monument, he said it's not enough to keep him from visiting New Orleans again. No, I would never stay away from New Orleans. I just hate that they're making historic changes. It's not right. We are monitoring the, uh, the social media conversations that occur, as we would normally do on a daily basis, um, and we, we do each and every day of, uh, of, our, of our work here. Uh, to get a sense of what people are saying or thinking about New Orleans. And overall, we think that the impact will be minimal on, uh, on the overall tourism numbers uh, for the city. The city wants to remove a total of four monuments, and Romick said in the tourism industry, they did something similar when the debate over the monuments began over a year ago. Uh, but overall, we continue our positive messaging about New Orleans as a, a very diverse and full of richness and music and jazz and architecture and uh, history that dates back almost 300 years. And that's the positive message that we will continue to be putting forth to the nation. After the massacre inside Mother Emanuel AME Church in South Carolina, that state removed the Confederate flag from the state capitol grounds. And in some states, the debate has moved beyond statues and flags to whether or not the design on license plates should be changed. And overall, we believe um, we'll move forward um, as, uh, as one city as we always have. The Southern Poverty Law Center says its study identified 1,503 Confederate symbols in public places in the South and across the United States. Reporting live, I'm Sabrina Wilson, Fox 8 News. All right, thanks, Sabrina. Some state lawmakers want to put the future of Confederate era monuments to a vote. State Representative Philip DeVilliers of Eunice proposes a constitutional amendment to prohibit Louisiana public entities from destroying, dismantling, removing, or eliminating various monuments, memorials, and artifacts. His bill is working its way through the current legislative session.